Okay, let's go. I got it. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hand. I got it wrong. He's higher than the skyscraper. And He's deeper than the submarine. He's wider. He's wider than the universe. And beyond my wildest dreams cool. And he's known me and he's loved me Since before the world began How wonderful to be a part Of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God God, our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than the skyscraper, and He's deeper than the submarine. He's wider than the universe, and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me, and He's loved me. Before the world began, how wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in it. Our God. God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hand. And He holds us. And He holds us in His hand. Real quiet. And He holds us in His hand. Real loud. And He holds us.
God's Commandments, the Sabbath. Sometimes our lives get really, really busy. For example, maybe you have online church and a Zoom meeting at the same time. Oh no, hold on a second. Okay, wait, hold on. I got my, my keyboard and, well, um, yeah, my, my background's okay, so, okay, yeah. So this this will be good. I can I can do church and Zoom at the same time, right? That's that's doable. Okay, so we're doing that. While you're trying to focus on church, don't forget about your math homework too. So do these math problems and shout out the answers. You guys ready? Two times seven, three plus one, five plus six, ninety nine minus three, twenty five divided by five. 4 times 3, 44 divided by 4, 10 plus 2, 7 times 9, 12 minus 6, 3 plus 16. Okay, hold on. Are you are you guys still keeping up with me? Because we still have a lot to do. We're really, really busy today. Okay, once you're finished with your math, but you need to practice your spelling. Did you guys practice? I hope you did because we're still having our class today. You can't forget about it. And did you guys forget about P.E.? Um, are you guys still in your PJs? Hopefully not. Okay, wait, we have to keep going. Okay, so we're going to practice our spelling and do PE at the same time. Okay, Okay. so here we go. Remember, spelling and PE and church and Zoom all at the same time. It's crazy, right? Okay, so you ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, you guys ready? Helicopter, spell it with me. H-E-L-I-C-O-P-T-E-R. Lavender, L-A-V-E-N. D E R. Um. Okay. Okay. Cat. Cat. I can smell cat. It's it's K A T. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Um. Oh, distraction. Yeah. We're not distracted at all. We can do this. D I S M. Uh, oh, sniff. There's something else I need to do. I forgot what it was. Okay. Um. Um. The laundry. Did you guys do the laundry? There's chores to do. Okay. Hold on. Let me go grab the laundry. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I got. I've got my laundry. Yeah. I've got my laundry. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, hold on. We need to fold. We need to fold up all of our laundry because if we're at home, we should be helping out with our chores, right? Okay. Was there another word on my spelling list? What, what was it? it? Was I think it was like, like crazy, crazy. Is that a K or C? Do, do you guys know? What does crazy start with? It's okay. We're just gonna keep folding our laundry because we know that we have to. We need to help out with our chores, right? Okay. So let's keep going. Um. Let's see. Wait. We forgot about our friends. We have stuff to do with our friends. Dude, we're supposed to help them make a video of the coolest new dance moves. Um, I got it. Do you guys know the happy pants dance? It's a, it's a good one. It's really simple. You just take your hands like this and you go boom, 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 here, boom, boom, here. And you switch it and you just go like that. Yeah, there we go. Hey, okay. There we go. We can do that. Okay. Yep, okay, that's great. Was there anything else we're forgetting? We did, we did laundry, chores, math, spelling. Oh, P-E, yeah, we should be doing our jumping jacks, okay. Oh, snap, we forgot something else. I didn't actually hit submit on my homework. So we have to do it all over again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so hold on. We need to grab, oh, hey, hold on. We've got some paper and we got a marker. I'm supposed to draw what my state looks like. Do you guys know what California looks like? California. What do you guys think? Does that kind of look like California? Now I just need to take a picture of it and send it in to my teacher. Whew, okay, it's a lot to do. Can't forget about any of this. There's just so much to do. It's so busy right now, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, wait a second. We did the laundry, but we forgot about the vacuuming. I just need to, I know we're doing church, but I just need to vacuum real quick because my family asked me to vacuum and I don't want to forget about that. Okay, so you guys just hold on a second, okay? Sorry about that guys. I've just been so incredibly busy. It's insane. Okay, and let's see. So we did we did homework, math, spelling, PE, 
Uh, we did the laundry. We did the vacuuming. Oh, I did submit my homework finally. Oh, I did the dance for my friend. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Um, sit, a choir. I forgot about our choir practice. Okay, so um, we need to practice, right? Okay, so I mean, if you guys want, you guys can join in, but I know I need to practice. So you guys ready? Okay, so let me see if I can get the singing down. Okay, it's really difficult. You ready? Baby shark, do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wait, okay, hold on, let me try that again. Baby shark, do 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 do. That's not right. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can do it. I can do it. I know I can. Okay, you ready? Baby shark, do 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 do. Okay, you know what? I'll just skip that part and I'll come back to it later. It, it'll be fine because you you'll get it right. Okay, so then after that comes Mama shark, do 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 do. Mama shark do 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 and then it's then it's then it's swimming swimming do 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 daddy shark and there's a grandpa and a grandma and oh my gosh I am going crazy this is so much stuff to do how am I supposed to do it all this is really hard wait was I supposed to be doing more push-ups or sit-ups or jumping jacks there's just so much to do. I don't even remember. I don't even remember if I studied for that song. <sighs> okay. Now we're going to take some time to sit with you. How did it feel to be so busy doing so much? How does it feel to sit and rest after all that activity? Call out some things that make your real life feel busy. Some things that in my real life that make me be busy is schoolwork, homework, and cleaning. Our lives can be crazy, like the experience you just went through. But you know what? God has gave us an amazing gift. One of his big commandments is this. Exodus 20, 8 through 11. Remember to keep the Sabbath day holy. Do all your work in six days, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to honor the Lord your God. Do not do any work on that day. The same command applies to your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, and your animals. It also applies to any outsiders who live in your towns. In six days, the Lord made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and everything in them but he rested on the seventh day. So the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. This commandment means we have a special day for God. Resting doesn't mean we have to sit around and be bored and do nothing. Instead, we can look at this day as a special gift from God. Just like getting a chance to sit down was nice after all our busy activity, our special day for God is a nice break from the busyness of the rest of our week. You can think about it like a holiday. The word holiday started out as the words holy day. When we have a special day for God every week, it's like having a holiday every week. God calls this holiday the Sabbath. And it's a chance to celebrate what God has done through you that week. And it's a chance to remember that God is the one who takes care of you. It's not on you to meet all your needs. In fact, this gift was so important to God that he showed us how to do it. He created the world in six days. And then Genesis 2, 1 through 3. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them were completed. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on that day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. He blessed it because on that day, he rested from all the work he had done. Wow, the Sabbath day is really important to God, and it's such a great gift for us. But if having a special day for God doesn't mean sitting around bored, what does it mean? Let me read the part of the commandment again. But the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. We have a special day for God that's dedicated to him. 
That could include anything that helps us experience God and stay connected to Him. Let's try out some ideas. Hey everyone, there are lots of ways where we can take a step back and connect with God. Can you think of a few ways that you can connect with God and that you feel closer to Him? I can think of a few ways that we can all connect with God even while we're staying at home and not at church. There's a few that I like in particular that I'd like to share with you. One way that I feel closer to God is by drawing a picture. I drew this picture of a rainbow, a flower, and a sun because it reminds me of God's promises and who God is and all that he's created for us. Can you draw a picture that helps you connect to God because it reminds you of who he is? Another way we can connect to God is by writing all the reasons why we love him. I have this little journal and I fill it with the things that I love about God. Can you, on this very special day, write five things that you love about God? Another way to connect to God is to worship and sing and dance to worship music. God loves to hear your voice, even at home, and sing to Him. And finally, even though we're inside, we can always look outside and hear the birds chirp and the wind in the trees and see all of God's creation. And with a parent, we can go out to the backyard yard or on a walk and we can see God's creation and all that he's done for us here on earth. After trying some of these activities, did you feel that your heart turned to God? What are some other ways that you can do that will help you feel closer to God? Today, on this very special day, it is the perfect time to try and figure out how you can feel connected to God. We have this very special day dedicated to God. And what makes that day special? Well, that depends on your heart, and we are all created differently by God. So everything will depend on who you are. How you feel connected to God is going to be different for every person. If you feel close to God by drawing a picture that reminds you of Him, then go ahead and take the time to do that today. It's the special day for God, so take the time to see how you can connect to Him. That God has a special day. In the Bible, God rested, and we can rest and spend time with Him too. Let's find a cozy place to lay down and rest with Him. Oh, this looks like a cozy place. Take a minute to rest.
Did you enjoy your rest? God says that it's best for us to rest and spend time with him often. This gives us the kind of rest and energy and joy that we need for all the other parts of our lives. Let's thank God for a special day of resting with him. Pray with me now. So let's pray right now and thank God for a gift of rest. So let's fold our hands and close our eyes and bow our heads. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you that in your in all of your wisdom, Lord, that you set aside a day for us to rest. It's a day that we can spend remembering you and all that you've done for us. Lord, we know that when we work hard and we play and we do our chores, at the end of the week, what we really need is a day to rest. And we thank you for giving us that gift. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. I thank you for my friends at home right now, Lord. And I pray that you would give them rest in their homes. Thank you for making us ready for all the tasks that lie ahead. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Celebrate Jesus is alive